and Master Oates is being ridden now as they head for home. Come down towards the second last, and the red cap on the right, that's Royal Athlete. And then on the big horse on the outside, Party Politics, between the pair is Romany King, has been placed in the race before. This is two out, Royal Athlete leapt it well from Romany King, and Master Oates and Party Politics is running out of steam, and so too into the red. And they come down towards the uh, final fence now. Dubasilla is starting to pick up from the back. This is the final fence, and it's Royal Athlete in the lead. Went through the top of it, Master Oates is tired, Romany King. And uh, then on the outside, Party Politics and into the red who's staying on. And then Dubasilla, but they come down towards the elbow. And it's Royal Athlete and Jason Titley on his first ride in the national. As he hits, comes to the elbow. He's five, six lengths clear. And Jenny Pippman's Royal Athlete clear by six lengths under Jason Titley. From in second place, Party Politics and then Romany King. And Dubasilla putting in a best work forward now. But it's going to be Royal Athlete's national. The Martel Grand National goes to Royal Athlete at the post. Royal Athlete it is for Jason Titley. Party politics is second. They go on from Fiddler on the Roof. Freewheeling Dylan now begins to weaken. Santini trying to stay on. The final fence in the national. And it's any second now. Noble Yates with any second now just going on from Noble Yates in second. Delta Work is back in third. Then Longhouse Poet and Santini and Fiddler on the Roof. Clear from Freewheeling Dylan. They're approaching the elbow. And it's Noble Yates who's through to the inside now to lead from any second now who's battling away all the way to the line. Noble Yates in front by length over any second now. It's Noble Yates under Sam Welly going. A fairy tale end to his career. Noble Yates has won the national. Pass and swing Bill and Exton. It's T for three who goes on down towards the last. From Oscar Time and Aurora's Encore. T for three went through the top of it. Joined by Aurora's Encore running a huge race on the outside the 11 year old. They race towards the elbow in the Grand National and it's Aurora's Encore for Sue Smith and and Ryan Mania. T for three is chasing. Oscar Time is back in third. A furlong to go in the national. Aurora's encore with a loose horse for company. His four lengths clear from T for three. Oscar Time is now beaten off and it's Aurora's encore for a huge shock in the national. The 11 year old is driven out. A first ride in the race for Ryan Mania. He'll win for Sue Smith and Aurora's encore wins the John Smith's Grand National. Seldom have so many horses had such a great chance of victory in the Grand National this close to the finish. But it is My Will and Ruby Walsh who have now gone to the lead. State of play on the outside. On the inside, offshore account is there. Comply or die. Priest Leap is staying on. Artia towards the wide outside as they go towards the second from home. And it was just My Will who had the lead. There was a mistake there by offshore account as they race now down towards the final fence in the Grand National. Comply or die with Mom Mom on the inside. My Will, the red sleeves towards the near side state of play. These were the first four, and it was comply or die, and Timmy Murphy, who jumped the lead over Mon Moan in second, state of play in third, My Will is in fourth, Snowy Morning is now in fifth place, followed by Big Fella Thanks, as they race on now towards the elbow, and it's now Mon Moan who has taken over the lead for Liam Treadwell on his first Grand National ride. He's gone clear now by six or seven lengths and going away from comply or die, My Will, and state of play, and race Racing now with just 100 yards to go. A first ride in the Grand National is a winning ride for Liam Treadwell. Venetia Williams trains Monmome to win the National.